Today's guests are the host of the Easter Seals podcast, Everything You Know About Disability Is Wrong. Aaron Hawley and Lily Newton are inspiring and informing listeners through topics that affect the disabled community, and today they're giving us a peek. This is Advocate Now. Lily and Aaron, it is so wonderful to have you both with us today. And Easter Seals has been doing such incredible work to help the disabled community for decades now. And now you're raising awareness even more with your new podcast. It's called Everything You Know About Disability is Wrong. Tell me about how this podcast came about. Lily, we'll start with you. Yeah, so um, this podcast started as the name, Everything You Know About Disability is Wrong, which I'm, I'm going to say that was you, Aaron. I think you came up with that beautiful title. And um, we just wanted to create a space where we could have really authentic conversations, um, but skip the kind of disability 101 is what we call that. So what I mean by that is that when you are disabled or really from any kind of marginalized identity and you get to have an opportunity to share your story, it tends to be the same kind of questions. Um, I'm autistic. And when I talk about being autistic, that's usually what I get to talk about is, you know, diagnosis, how I found out, which is really wonderful and great to talk about. But there is a lot more to being disabled and living life than what's it like to be disabled? You know, we have love, we have relationships, we have all the regular ups and downs of life. So we just wanted to create a space where we could have those conversations. And then from there, we built the first season based around love and dating because we thought you know those are the questions that we don't get asked very often and um that doesn't really get thought about in the disability space so we started there had some incredible guests and we're in the middle of our first season now and we also made this podcast to make sure that the disability voice is something that is front and center for easter shields and to ensure that like everyone has a space and everyone is free to be who they are. Because as Lily said, sometimes we're asked to be on podcasts or other, you know, media, and the focus is just disability and not anything else. Because we're actually <laughs> we're actually like full people but full lives. So that was something that really, we really made this podcast for the disability community, even though anyone can listen to it. But what I love about it too is it's it's not just for those who are disabled. I mean, this is for everyone to listen in and to learn about everyday issues and conversations that disabled people are having in their communities, right? It's to raise awareness as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the topics that we cover a lot in the first season is dating apps, which as just a 25 year old outside, even outside of the disability community, that's just a conversation that's happening. What What's it like on the dating app scene? What's it, uh, What's going on? How are we people meeting each other during the pandemic, after the pandemic? All these things are just regular conversations that we're having. And so I think that while what Aaron said is right, we made this for the disability community. It's also just hot topic issues that are being talked about regularly by everyone. What would you say are some of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to those who are disabled? When our first season is about disability and relationships, and a lot of people don't think of us as being in relationships, having romance. They don't really think of us as anything beyond you know, disability. So it was really important for us to have these big topics like love and make sure people like see that we're part of that as well. And disabled people can also feel seen and understood. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to listen to a couple of your episodes. And as you mentioned, what I love about it and what's so great is that you are covering some general everyday topics like dating, dating challenges. 
But um, tell me, tell us about some of your guests so far, uh, you know, because of course there's a focus on how all of these, even general topics affect the disabled community. So who are some of the subjects that you've had so far? We did um, start it off with an interview or a podcast with Jennifer Masumba, who wrote our theme song, mm-hmm. which I love, by the way. And um, she was talking about like how she felt uh, like insecure about dating and wasn't sure it was for her. And I think it was really, you know, vital that we showed that because not every disabled person wants to date or is looking for that. So like showing that diversity within disability is great. And um, Lily, you can chat about like Emily. And- yeah. So our first, we started with three ep- a three episode release and that was Jennifer Masumba. And that episode's wonderful. And like Aaron said, the theme song is, is so good. It's always stuck in my head. And I'm so glad that we had her do that. And then we had Nick Novicki, who is an incredible actor, comedian. And he also founded the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, which is an just such an incredible event um, that if you don't know about it, you should listen to the episode. <laughs> and um, and then we also had Emily Ledow, who is an incredible activist advocate. And she wrote what is one of my all-time favorite advocacy books, Demystifying Disability. Um, all three of our first guests came through the Easter Seals Network, which is incredible. I love working for a place that has such a strong community of disabled creators and people who have voices and want to speak and want to share. So it was really cool to go through that network. And for me as kind of, I'm, I'm newer to this community and I've gotten to meet so many cool people already. I mean, even just those first three guests, it was exhilarating to just get to have conversation with people who I have a lot in common with, but also I'm learning new things from. It's just really, really wonderful. And we have a great lineup for the rest of the episodes that are going to come out this season. Yeah. And having an open dialogue is so incredibly important in helping people to not feel alone or feel isolated. And the disabled community is truly underserved. How would you say that we can change the perception around the needs of the disabled and, and better advocate for them? I think it's important to share our stories, share our lives, and make sure that we're being authentic because so much of disability in media is told by people who are not disabled. So sharing our own stories is, I think, the greatest way to bring awareness and understanding. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think it's so important to give voice to people who we don't hear from often. Uh, I know for me personally, I was I was not diagnosed in childhood. I didn't find out I was autistic until my early 20s. And I think such a huge part of that is because I never saw representation of autistic specifically women. I I rarely saw autistic women and the portrayals of autism that I saw on screen were often really stereotyped and created by neurotypical people who are creating kind of a caricature. So I think that um, throughout the rise of social media and especially like TikTok, we're seeing that there's so many great creators who are sharing their stories. And it is through that story sharing that People like myself, before I knew I was autistic, are able to figure themselves out and also find resources and find community that you don't really get without authenticity. Lily and Aaron, thank you so much for all that you're doing and and for providing that voice for the community. For more information on Easter Seals and the podcast, just head to EasterSeals.com. We want to thank both of you for being with us today. Thank you so much for having us. I'm Sonia Baghdadi. Thanks for watching and advocating. For more stories and content like this, visit advocate.com and advocatechannel.com.